Alrighty guys, welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name is Taylor Quayle. We are here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. Today we're looking at a gym. 2008 Tiffin Phaeton 36 QSH. Quad slide diesel pusher. Got a 360 Cummins under her. I think it's an 8.3 liter. 8,000 pound or 8,000 kilowatt gen or an 8 kilowatt, 8,000 watt gen. Now, your awnings, you have two electric awnings. You have a door awning right there, and then you have your main awning. The main awning does have a three level one sensor, low, medium, high. Of course, the door awning does not, but it just, they are both electric, so we'll go in with a push of a button. Of course, this coach is full body paint. We're gonna take a peek at the exterior, then we'll jump inside and see how that looks. First off, Toyo tires, dated, looks like early 2019. It's only about a couple years old. 295 75R 225s. Then you got metal covers for both the awning and your slide toppers. Your storage compartments. There is the two extra chairs for the dinette. And you can see you got power and cable hookups in there if you want to put a TV. Fuel fill just to the right. It is a dual fuel fill. Nice slide out compartment tray. We'll go both ways and it extends about 80%, it looks like. Another full pass-through. You see there's an extra like level of storage up there, which is nice. The paint is in really, really good condition. They had to have had this inside. Even your dark colors, when you get close, you don't see any of the cracking or chipping or any small little X's in it. So that's a good plus. I know on older coaches, that's always a little bit of a concern. Awning, great condition, no rips, no tears. Couple batteries there, another small little storage compartment. You do have a window awning. There's two window awnings on this coach, also with metal covers, and they both, uh, those are an option. I do have a printout of the floor plan and all the features on this, so look forward for that in the interior. Now this is a rear radiator coach. Of course, it does have a backup camera. Just rear, no side vision. And you see that tag in there, it's on that Freightliner chassis. I should have a seven pin there, should be a 10,000 pound hitch. Now I do wanna show you the top, so let me put that radiator cover down and get the extension on and I'll meet you up there. There's your rear cap. It's a little dirty, but it looks fine. Two ACs, all your massive vent covers. See a satellite up there, top of the awning. Top of the slide toppers are dirty, but they will clean up. So there you go, there's the roof. All right, guys, here's that passenger side. Two more slides. This is a water heater. I don't remember how big the water heater is. And that looks like that is a 10 gallon water heater. Well, that's gonna be a pain to get on with one hand. I did it. All right, good deal. So another small storage there, really not meant for anything. It is just kind of an access panel for the air cleaner. Of course, 50 amp power service, auto transfer switch. Dump station, whole coach water filter, water pumps. Um, coax, con I mean, uh, ethernet connection, outdoor shower, and a city water connection. All right there. Give you a quick peek at the uh, top part of this. Sorry if the sun's glaring in your face. See that additional window awning right there? It is massive, covers two full windows. Pass your storage, the other side of that slide out tray, and your propane tank. I can't see the size, probably at least a 40 or a 50 gallon. Oh, missing a cover. And then finally, windshield wiper fluid, air compressor, you got your gen pull at the top right. Point seven. 1200 hours on the gen. It started up just fine, no issues at all. So, let me put you guys on pause. We'll jump inside. I'm gonna get all these compartments shut. 
All right, two electric steps that come out, screen door, and you have an electric step that comes out to cover the void. Right when we walk in, you have all your kind of lights, battery disconnects, controls, and then let's walk up and give you a first peek at this thing. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently than I normally do. Got a lot of people saying I don't show the interior enough. So I'm gonna pause and restart from different corners of this coach so you get an idea. I'm gonna go stand right in that hallway. All right, sitting right next to the fridge. And I'll do the same thing when we get to the bedroom, but let me go run up front and go over the cab area. All right, so starting up front, on the left side of the captain's chairs, Atwood Levelers, Allison 3000 series. You got exhaust brake, moving your pedals, visor controls, fans, auxiliary start, preheat on the motor, mirror controls. Let's start this bad boy up. All right, so make sure I just had it running, so we should be good. It's strong startup. You can barely even hear it. 71,696 on the miles. And once again, you can see the other generator gauge there. 12,28. Backup camera. A couple little drawers. Areas for cup holder. Passenger has it nice. They have a good little pullout right here. And this is actually that same solid surface countertop you get in the kitchen. It's very heavy, very solid. You can see down below there is some power hookups right there. Both driver and passenger seat are electric, eight ways. You do have a leg extension right there for the passenger. They'll be nice and comfortable. And these, of course, do turn. You do have some good wear on the side here. The actual face of the chair looks to be in quite good condition. Both flex steels chairs. Once again, driver's side on the side, it's a little bit more warm, but really, actually, it looks pretty good. All right, so both screens, daytime and nighttime, do come down with the push of a button. Up here, you got your onic controls, one sensor at the bottom left, slide controls, power, satellite, similar storage to what's right here. And then finally, it has this kind of, I'm not sure, there's a couple hinges here. I think this kind of opened this way before and then they just changed it. A little awkward, but <laughs> five disc DVD player in there in your dish all right that is the cab there's nothing too crazy let me turn around we'll shoot these slides we're gonna start with the driver's side front slide it goes from that co corner right there follow the crown molding right in front of the TV is where it ends looks to be about a full-size slide three foot deep you can see that beautiful window awning out there too this was another option leather sofa with a sleeper now, of course, this dinette, you saw the other two chairs down there. This will pull out and extend a little bit. Give you some more space if you want to make it a four-person. Now, here is all my printouts. So, first off, our sales ad. 100 grand is what we're selling her for. There's your exact floor plan with the freestanding dinette. And then I highlighted some of the important stuff and some of the options I could find in this coach. Welcome to pause and check this out if need be. And finally, here's my card. Call me, email me if you need anything. Now this is, uh, you do have a little bit of storage down there below. This, believe it or not, a freestanding table and chairs is an option. It usually has a booth, which is a little different for most of your standard diesel pushers. Storage is these three all connected. These three all connected. Nothing too crazy, but good amount of storage. All right. So right past the slide, you do have your 32 inch TV and a little bit of storage down below. You could probably put a fireplace here if you really wanted to. A couple mirror doors up top, good for liquor. Now your next slide is going to be from that corner all the way down, right in front of the mirror there at that corner. Standard, um, standard sofa here. This should be a jackknife. And then you got a very similar three-style cabinetry above. They are taller. 
little bit of storage right here. Convection microwave, because there is no oven, it is massive. And then to the right, even more storage. Like I said, solid surface countertop, solid surface backsplash, metal sink, nice and deep, shallower on the right side. Then you got a couple drawers, nothing too crazy. A little bit of storage down below. Oh, that almost, oh, that does slide out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Probably a good area for a trash can. Now I got a couple more things to show you in the kitchen. Nice big storage down there where the oven would be, but look at this extension. You're probably wondering that these drawers are kind of pointless. You do give it a nice extension, gives you more of an L-shaped kitchen, but just look at that. That is in literally insane. I mean, you may not think you could fit much in there, but you can go deep. And this one's even taller. Look at that. Spices. Very nice. Very, very nice. And then under, you do have your three burner gas stove top. All right. Making our way back. Before you hit the bathroom to the left, you do have your Norcold four door fridge and freezer with an ice maker. Now this is propane or electric three way fridge or plugged in, of course. And finally, let's make our way to the back bedroom. So we do have a split bathroom and the tile floor does go throughout until we hit that actual bedroom. First door here will act as a little bit of a separator behind this door though. You do have a pocket door, make it a master suite. China toilet, solid surface countertops are out here. Just a good amount of storage for a bathroom. Fantastic fan, AC vent. Another fantastic fan. If you'd like to blow out the bathroom, you should have no problems with these fans. All right, right behind us, I'm sorry, it probably looks pretty tight on the video. It is a standard hallway. But here is, looks like a one piece fiberglass shower with a massive skylight. I am 5'9", I can easily fit in here. You can be well into the six foot range and feel comfortable and act yourself a decent body wash all right opening this last door here we do have your final two slides so the bed right here is on a slide it is a queen bed it's not an air mattress i think this was originally replaced with what was in here you can see on the back there is some air mattress kind of remote controls now we do have some storage under here it is kind of hard to get at but there you go so a nice old down comforter under there at the moment now we literally just took this thing in. You're gonna see what I mean. I ha we haven't even cleaned it up. So it really, it was actually in quite good condition for being a used RV. Usually, I mean, I've been doing this for four years. I've seen all walks of life when it comes to used RVs and <laughs> it's not very, not very often you get something this clean. One thing I love about this, you have a separate vanity right there with a medicine cabinet, good for the misses. And that is actually a slide, that TV storage and then four drawers there. The thing on the right is a little clothes hamper. And then I'll show you the hamper. I like it. It's kind of cool. Power hookups, everything. It'd be hard to upgrade the TV without taking out this cabinet. You do have a combo washer dryer unit right there. A nice pull out drawer right there. That pull out drawer would actually probably be good for dirty clothes. And then finally, your full wall closet. That was custom made. It is easily, you know, movable, but kind of nice. Here is a couple printouts from the manufacturer. If you care at all what these say. The reason I say we haven't cleaned this coach up yet. Hey, free jeans, let me tell you. They're about my size, so maybe they won't be here if you come to buy her. But a pretty decent sized wardrobe in here. Now, of course, breaker box down below does take away some of it. Long dresses won't fit. Folded jeans fit just fine. All right, guys. Last but not least, we're going to give you a peek of her all closed up in travel mode. So let me put you on pause. We'll be back. Starting in the back here, we see we have our slides both all the way in. So you can still get to the closet if need be. Washer and dryer is closed up. Sink still available. One thing I really like is they do have these little screens here that come in with the slide. Help protect from debris getting out. Turning around, there's our walkway up front. Bathroom, shower, fridge, 
Everything's literally accessible. Can't watch TV, unfortunately, with the slide. Well, you could through the window, I guess. That'd be weird. But, and this is pushed all the way in. This does extend, so you do have a good walkway throughout this coach. The sound you hear is the coach pumping up with air. There you go. Now, last but not least, let's jump outside and see how it looks in travel mode. And there she is in all her glory, ready to hit the road. Good looking coach. I mean, for being about 13 years old, it's in quite good condition. And one little peek at this here driver's side. So if you have any questions, and the info will be in the description below. Once again, my name's Taylor Quayle. Give me a call, shoot me an email. That was really smart of me to say that walking by the motor or engine. Oh my gosh. But I really appreciate the view, guys. Hopefully, I taught you something or maybe answered a question you were looking for. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Shoot me a message. Whatever I can do for you, I'll help out. Have a great day, everyone.